Hello everyone. Welcome to MSFT webcast. In this video, we are going to see the steps on how to create a group to manage users in Intune and then assign the Intune license to the group using Microsoft Endpoint Manager. Indian usage Active Directory groups to manage devices and users. Groups are used to manage users and control employees' access to company resources. We will use Intune to create a group based on an existing user. When assigning policies in Intune, we can choose to assign to all users or all devices groups which are pre-created. The all devices group targets all devices that are enrolled into management and the all users group is a simple way to target all users that are assigned an Intune license. These groups are considered virtual because we do not create them or view them in Azure Active Directory. They are convenient to use because they are pre-created in our tenant and they are a faster targeting unit than Azure Active Directory groups. Apart from this, if needed, we can create group as per our requirement. We can use Microsoft 365 Admin Center, the Azure AD Admin Center or Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center to create and manage groups. But in this video, we want to create security group using Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center. First, we need to access and log in to the Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center. You can access it using the URL https colon double slash endpoint.microsoft.com. On home page, click on groups. Here we can see the existing groups from our tenant. In our case, we haven't created any group yet. To create a new group, click on new group icon. On the group page, choose security as a group type. In the group name field, enter the name for the new group. For example, MDM Taste Group 1. Add a group description for this group. Let me add Taste Group 1. In Intune, we can add two types of groups, Assign and Dynamic. In Assign groups, we manually add users or devices into a static group. We will cover dynamic group in upcoming videos. Set the membership type to assign and which is selected by default. Under members, click on the link to add one or more members for the group from the list. Click on no members selected link. From the list, we will select two users named taste user 2 and taste user 3. Let me search for taste. Here we have a taste user 2 and taste user 3. Click on select. We can confirm two members are selected. After selecting the members, click on create and wait for the confirmation message. We can see the message successfully created group named MDM taste group 1. Click on refresh to see the updated group list. Group is created and ready for us to manage other settings. If required, we can add it a group's name, description or membership type. Select the group you need to manage. In our case, let me click on MDM Taste Group 1. Under Manage, click on Members. Here we can see the list of users who are member of this group. In our case, Taste user 2 and Taste user 3 listed as a member of this group. You can add or remove member as per your requirement from here. Under Manage, click on Properties. Update the general settings information as needed from here. Group name, group description, membership type and other settings are here. I am going to close the group properties page. If we have a small organization with a couple of users, we can assign the Intune license directly to the user and which we have seen in the last two videos. 
if we manage a large environment and want to have a structure our best way is to assign in tune licenses with group based licenses in our case we want to assign the license to mdm test group 1 so basically that will assign license to all the members of that group in our case we have two members test user 2 and test user 3 so license will assign to them let's see the steps click on group to assign the licenses in our case we will click on mdm test group 1 under manage click on licenses click on assignments select the enterprise mobility plus security e5 checkbox in the license section make sure intune is selected you can select or remove license options as per your organization's license subscription and requirement select save to save the changes and wait for the confirmation message license assignments to the members succeeded let me close it and let's close the page we can see the enterprise mobility plus security e5 is assigned and state is active now let's check the license status of our both users test user 2 and test user 3 click on users click on test user 2 under manage click on licenses here we can see no license assignments found so i'm going to refresh it and we can see the enterprise mobility plus security e5 is assigned to the user and state is active but important thing is the assignment paths it is inherited from group mdm test group 1 so we have assigned license to our group and that setting is inherited to our members and that's why test user 2 has enterprise mobility plus security e5 license assigned to him and it is inheriting from a group mdm test group 1 using the same steps we can check the license status for test user 3 and the result will be same so we have successfully created a group and assign in tune license to the group So that concludes the video on how to create a group to manage users in Intune and assign group based Intune licenses using Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.